is up, Ramsey Orchestra? Well, as you can tell, I have made it back into my office. Uh, so our final video today will be coming to you from school. Um, walking in today was hard. Um, walking into the classroom and just not hearing any practicing or uh, hearing you guys talk to each other, hearing you guys laugh, even the occasional roughhousing. It's definitely not the same. It's just really sad. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Today is the day. We are gonna be announcing who won our awards for May student of the month. Outstanding sixth, seventh, and eighth grader. Unsung hero, best attitude. I have two very special surprises for you guys that I cannot wait to tell you guys about. I've been holding on to it for a while and now I finally get to share it with you and I think that you all will be really excited. We'll touch base a little bit on our lesson this week which was on symphony orchestras with band, choir, and orchestra all combined and then we'll go to our awards, get through our surprises. I had a couple of you guys send me videos so after we get through all of our awards you'll have a couple of videos from several of your peers. Go ahead and hit pause and go grab the tissue box. It feels so good to be back in my office. Like it's just, it feels so good to be back in a place where I know where I'm supposed to be. And I know that this is a place where I am supposed to make a difference. And that's so hard to do without you guys here. So, well, without further ado, uh, let's go through the rest of our announcements. So we've got, um, let's talk a little bit about instruments. If you have a school owned instrument, I need you to do everything in your power to get your instrument turned back into me by the next week whenever you come to clean out your lockers. This goes for sixth, seventh, and eighth, all grades. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through our inventory and find things that need to be fixed and find things that need to be improved. Like some of your instruments need to be restrung, some of you need new bows, some of you need new shoulder rests, uh, so on and so forth. So if you have a school-owned instrument, I need you to do your everything in your power to try to get it turned back in before the year ends. Then I'll redistribute those instruments back out in the fall. Some of you might have the same instrument, but some of you might not. Next year's eighth graders, some of your instruments won't really change because some of you own your own and a lot of you guys, your size won't be affected because you're already playing on a full size instrument. Now sixth grade, now next year seventh graders, some of you guys are gonna have to be resized because I haven't seen you so long that we'll have to see where you are in your growth because you might be ready to step up to the next size instrument. So I wanna get all of that prepared for you come next fall, as soon as school starts, we're ready to go. If you have a personally owned instrument that's here at school, um, and you know that it's here, I ask that you send me an email. I will go through and check all the instruments that have name tags, but not all of them do. If you know your instrument is here and, and you don't think it has a name tag, then shoot me an email and I will email you guys letting you know whose instrument I have so that way when you come clean out your lockers or whatever you have to get done at school, you're able to get your instruments, especially if you're eighth grade because you need to take your instrument with you. <laughs> so I'm gonna have two surveys for you guys finishing out the school year leading up until next Wednesday. One of them is gonna be an end of the year reflection both in person and NTI, things you liked, things you didn't like, things that I can change to help be a better teacher for you guys. The second one is gonna be on fall music. So if there's any pieces, current sixth and seventh graders that you guys wanted to do for the fall concert that we were gonna do for the spring, I'm gonna have a survey sent out that'll have a checkbox and you'll just check the pieces that you wanna do in the fall that we were gonna do in the spring. And all these pieces that I'm sending you are all online. Usually for the fall concert, I try to focus on doing contemporary music, usually doing like Halloween and some dark pieces. So if you want me to pick out your guys' music, or if you want to use any of the pieces that we're going to play this for the spring concert, I want you guys to let me know that. And lastly, yes! I'm so excited. So as of right now, we have raised 12, over $1,200, which is awesome. And we can continue building off of that. We do still need money to make up for our KMEA assessment field trip and our school account. So I'm going to keep that GoFundMe open for right now, so that way I can put that donated money into the account. So if you know people in your family who would be interested in donating for the GoFundMe, I'll have the link below. This week's lesson was on symphony orchestras with band, orchestra, and choir. Back in January, we saw the Louisville Orchestra perform Mahler's Fifth Symphony, which didn't have a choir. So, your all's assignment this week, I posted Carl Orff's Camina Burana, which is a phenomenal and very well-known 
work and has some very familiar themes in it that I think you guys will recognize. You hear it in movies, video games, TV shows. I know Glee for sure has played O Fortuna, which is the opening movement several times when coach Sue Sylvester goes on a rampage. That's what's playing in the background is O Fortuna. So I think it's really cool to be able to hear all three very different bodies of music come together and create something so intense and big and massive. That's a bucket list of mine is to be able to conduct just a massive symphony orchestra, band orchestra and choir. Maybe one day when I've got some years under my belt, we can do an alumni concert with band orchestra and choir and everybody who's attended Ramsey Middle School can just come back and we can just have a gigantic concert. That'd be so cool. And plus, we'll get to play harder music because you'll be alumni so you've been playing for more than three years. So for us, we have our five parts, first violin, second violin, viola, cello, and bass. But then you get to choir. Traditionally, they have four parts, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. But they have parts in their music too where even those parts are broken up into more, ind ind more independent parts to give the piece more color. And then in band, you have flute, clarinet, oboe, bassoon, sa sometimes saxophone. You don't see saxophone a lot in symphony orchestras. Same as euphonium. Euphonium, by the way, is a small baritone, or euphonium, by the way, is a small tuba. Trumpet, French horn, tuba, and then the conductor. So, that's a lot of parts for just one piece. I can imagine that score is like, you know what, it'd probably like blow my mind. Hmm. Dream big. I hope that the video that you all watched on Kamina Barana was um, very, just very cool to watch and um, something that seeing, li seeing that live would be a very different experience than seeing it in a recording. As you guys know, seeing the Louisville Orchestra, seeing them live versus hearing Mahler 5 on a recording is a very different experience. And again, guys, like I've talked about in previous, previous videos, those people had to work and practice for many, many years on scales, on solo works, performing as many chances as they got, and had to audition for those spots. And the recording that I gave you guys this week that's a university. So those are just college students from ages like 18 to, who knows, like 25, maybe older. I don't know. That's short here. Did you guys hear that? I know I heard something. This week's assignment on symphony orchestras is the last assignment that it's gonna be posted. The surveys that I'm gonna post are not gonna be a grade. Now, let's move on to student awards for our May student of the month. One thing I will tell you guys, we had a tie in every grade. No joke, a tie in every grade. So in sixth grade, we had two students win student of the month for the month of May, and it is Maddie B and Amalia M. Congratulations, ladies. Very well deserved. Seventh grade, Aaron K and Courtney M. Congratulations, ladies. And last, eighth grade's last chance of getting student of the month, and it is Emilio P and Lexi B. All of our May student of the month, I think, are students who are great leaders for our ensembles, great leaders for our ensembles, and I think you guys made a very good choice in your voting. So, I can't believe we got a tie in every grade. That's just insane. So you guys will be receiving your certificate and your bag of goodies will be coming to you in the mail. Everyone who wins the Unsung Hero, Best Attitude, and Most Improved Musician will receive this trophy and it will have a gold plate. I've had, I have this one turned around just so you can't see who won this one. But it'll have a gold plate that'll have the school year and for Ramsey Orchestra, your grade and what the award is for, and your name. Without further ado, let's get to our Unsung Heroes. These are our students that are leaders in our ensembles and students who I'm really excited to recognize for this award. So in sixth grade, our Unsung Hero is Miriam F. In seventh grade, Viviana Yu. And in eighth grade, and I'm so excited this person got this award, Abdi A. So, congrats guys. You, all three of you are just awesome human beings and you have great personalities and are just great leaders in our ensemble. And I've come a long way this year. So, I appreciate you and I thank you for all your hard work. Next is Best Attitude. Best Attitude goes without saying. Someone who comes in in our classroom every day and is super positive and is ready to work, doesn't 
put out other people's lights to make theirs shine. In sixth grade, we did have a tie. Our first sixth grader is, is Molly B and Imani E in seventh grade. And I'm not surprised at all, Rachel B. And then in eighth grade, best attitude, Nevea J. Congratulations. You all are very positive influences in our orchestra and I'm very thankful to have you all. Next is our most improved musician. We had a tie in sixth grade and in eighth grade. Sixth grade, our most improved musicians are Maddie B and Jaquel E. In seventh grade, our most improved musician, and I think this is very deserving for this person, Whitney W. And in eighth grade, we had a tie with the same name, <laughs> Sanaya S and Sanaya F. Congratulations to all you guys. You have come so far this year in your playing and your maturity. You have just exceeded every expectation that I have given you. So congratulations to you all. Congratulations to all of our winners, Unsung Hero and Best Attitude. I could have given these awards out to multiple people in each class. So remember, if you don't win an award, that doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It just means other people are doing more things to stand out. So for our outstanding sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, you guys will be receiving a plaque. But before I show you the plaque, let's announce our sixth grader. And this goes to a student who I think just encompasses everything about our orchestra in the most positive and creative way. And this award goes to Isabella G. This is the plaque that our outstanding sixth, seventh, and eighth graders will be receiving. So congratulations, Bella. It's very, very deserved. Next, seventh grade, we had a tie. And our outstanding seventh graders are Oren H. and Su Min. And then lastly, in eighth grade, our outstanding eighth grader is Emilio. Congratulations, guys. So I think that these students are our outstanding students that just encompass everything about our orchestra, work very hard, practice a lot, have a lot of a lot of talent, and I'm very appreciative of your work. Now, I have two huge surprises that I have to reveal to you guys. The first one, I sent a survey out to all the teachers at Ramsey and had them vote for their eighth grader who they believed could be selected for this year's Ramsey Orchestra Director's Award. The Director's Award is a word I have not told anything about to you guys. This goes to an eighth grader who is selected by the staff at Ramsey Middle School and not only has made a difference in our ensemble, but has made a difference in our school and our community. So the person who wins this award not only has just made an overall difference in our program, but has just made an overall difference in their time at Ramsey. So basically this award is a three years in the making. They will receive a plaque. I will have a plaque hanging outside of my office door that will list every single student's name that wins this award. Right now the plaque can hold 12 names. So seventh and sixth graders, there's one person in your class right now that could be selected for this award by the end of your eighth grade year and your name is gonna be put up on the plaque for many, many years to come. The person who won this award I think is very deserving. I've said deserving a lot, haven't I? I apologize. It's true, y'all are deserving. They work incredibly hard for our program. They, they work incredibly hard for our school. They are gonna do amazing things when they leave here, when they graduate high school, when they go to college for whatever passion they wanna pursue. And that person is Isabel Hoffman. So congratulations, Belle. You are very deserving of this award. Um, this plaque will be in your envelope for you to pick up next week. So this is the plaque that's going to be going home to you. And 6th and 7th graders, those of you who would like to be chosen for this award, you got to think about the impact you're making on others. So this is the plaque that's going to hang outside my door. So the next two slots down is going to have a student's name of the current 6th and 7th graders when you guys graduate as 8th graders. So Isabel, your name, your instrument, and the year that you won this award will be on this plaque for many years. Now the second surprise. We are going to be back in room 137. That's right, we're getting the old orchestra room back. It's happening. So we'll be making the move this summer to switch back the choir and the orchestra room. So get ready, seventh and eighth graders. We're gonna be making a lot of progress and working really hard in, to keep that room. I'm very, very proud of our program. I'm very proud of the progress that we've made this year. I've made, a lot of, I've made a lot of progress this year and I'm very thankful for each and every one of you that's a member of this program because you helped make it happen. And lastly, so I wanted to start the tradition of having a picture of the eighth grade and this is the only group picture I have of us. So guys, what a wild year it's been. We have some ups, we have some downs, but most of all, I'm just so proud of the progress that you've made, the accomplishments that we've made this year, and it just doesn't go without saying, 
I love my job. Here's a message from your peers. Hey, Mrs. Turner, I want to say thanks for a great eighth grade year. You made uh, eighth grade really fun and orchestra really fun. And one of my favorite things was to play Smash with you after school. So I wish we could have done the spring concert because the Disney music was really fun. Thanks. Happy end of the school year. It was an amazing year. Um, I want to thank Alex from 7th grade for helping me switch from cello to viola. Helped made it easier, so it was really fun working with you. And thank you to Mr. Turner for being a great orchestra teacher. Um, and yeah, happy end of the school year and thanks 6th, 7th, and 8th graders for making it fun. So, What a wonderful school year that got interrupted by the virus. I'm looking forward to my next journey of becoming a freshman. I will miss my old school and familiar faces, and I wish everyone good luck for the next school year. Signing out, Sanaya Saunders. Mr. Turner, we used to be an orchestra. We've always been an orchestra. But this year you've changed it, and now we are not only an orchestra, we are a family, and we are supportive of each other. Thank you. And secondly, I have a little bit of advice for incoming orchestra students. Be yourself. It's easier said than done, but once you find out who you are and you start showing that person, you will find out that lots of more people appreciate you, including yourself. Don't be like everyone else, because everyone else, that's not fun. And secondly, stand up for what you believe in and what you care about. Fight for the things that you love, because if someone pushes you around and tells you you're not worth it, and you believe them, then things will be a lot harder. You deserve the world, and the sky's the limit for you. You are amazing, and you are perfect. So, I don't know who all will be watching this. So, um, my name is uh, Elle. I was the show host in the Ranty 8th grade orchestra. And, um, congrats to everyone who made it through the year. <laughs> it might have been tough for some of us, but we did it. <laughs> It's me, one of your fellow eighth grade students, Penelope, and I just want to say throughout this video, thank you so much for everything you have done for me this year. One thing I've never done throughout my orchestra year was actually going to KMEA. And also another thing is I have never been so close with the orchestra group, mostly the group that I am in, which is me, Amari, Abdi, Ramari, Dion, and William. I've been very close friends with them. You also boost my confidence to playing in front of everyone, even though I was nervous, you still helped me, you know, boost my confidence. <laughs> um, oh yeah, by the way, I got my braces off. Hopefully you're safe and healthy right now throughout this time. Again, thank you so much. You were actually one of my favorite teachers because you were funny, creative, inspiring, motivational. You have also had 
helped us, you know, with hard work that we couldn't, we were not able to do, but you made it in an easy way for other students to understand. Also, another thing is for the upcoming sixth graders, the beginning of um, playing, yes, it might be hard, but if you stay in that class for the whole year and practice every single day with him, trust me, he will become better. He's really good. He gave me and like a, I was a bad, I was bad at playing violin and now I'm actually pretty good because of him. He is really nice. He won't get mad at the things he might done on accident. He will forgive you either way if it's on purpose or accident. He is the best teacher ever. Again, thank you Mr. Turner. Have a nice day and thank you for everything. Bye. Thank you Mr. Turner for letting me in class and for letting me experience orchestra with you. So, it's your favorite eighth grader. And I'm going on to high school. So, that's gonna be pretty cool. And, and I hope um, next year's eighth graders will do as great as this year's eighth graders have done. Seventh grade and sixth grade, they're so, they're so awesome. Like. I don't, I, I can't even describe how amazing people they are, most of them, anyway, <laughs> yeah, but Alex, you better be a good um, first chair for the violas next year, I'm, I'm counting on you, I swear, I'll, I'll visit, I'll visit all the time and make sure that everyone is doing their part and if not, I'm going to smack them. Take the bow, just whack him. Cause y'all need to give Ramsey a good reputation when it comes to orchestra. I know we did good this year, but we gotta do even better next year. You hear me? Good. Well, good luck next year. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna be there. Y'all gotta fend for yourself. <laughs> well, well, that was, uh... That was good. That was good. Thank you for that. All right. So let's finish this year up. Let's close it out. Let's finish out 2020. Message to my fifth graders, a Wheeler Bates and Farmer. I'm so sorry that we didn't get to finish the year out strong the way that we wanted to. I'm sorry that we didn't get to have a concert together. I'm sorry that I didn't get to bring you guys donuts for the party at the end of the year and cupcakes or popsicles. I'm sorry that we didn't get to spend more time together. I'm sorry that we didn't get to participate in fifth grade All-County, but the one thing I do hope is that as you go into middle school next year, that you spend time learning who you are, you make time for yourself, don't get wrapped up in other people's drama, and I hope that I get to see you again. As of right now, we have 17 enrolled sixth graders next year that I had this year at either Fart, <laughs> at either Farmer, Wheeler, or Bates. So, I'll get to have 17 of you that I had last year, again next year. And I'm so excited to get to spend the next three years with you guys. To my eighth grade, you guys are going into high school and let me just say, it's time that you guys are gonna start learning who you are. And I want you to know that it's okay to make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes, but it's important that you learn from those mistakes and you move on. You're not doing yourself any favors by making the same mistake twice. I've had so much fun with you guys this year and I'm really sad that I only got one year with you. We made some pretty incredible music, and I really feel like you guys as an ensemble are very prepared for high school musically. Um, just do not get wrapped up in, in things that just don't matter in the grand scheme of things. Remember, school is your job right now. You're gonna get a, eventually get a part-time job, but school is your job. You need to do well in school so that way you are able to get the career that you want and be able to support your family and support yourself. So just remember to always know that your future is what matters, not anybody else's, your future. To my sixth and seventh graders, I really hope you guys are ready for next year because we are gonna have some fun. Depending on if we're in class, in person, or online, I'm gonna be making a lot of changes to our learning if we're still in NTI. But for right now, I'm planning on being back in the fall. I'm so excited to see you guys. I wanna hug each and every one of you and just know how much I miss each and every one of you. To my parents and the faculty and staff at Ramsey Middle School, I just wanna say thank you so much for your support, for support for these kids, 
uh, support when it comes to finances. This job is not always easy, but I wouldn't do anything else. I can't do anything else. <laughs> so I just want you guys to know that your support does not go unnoticed and the learning of these kids is the only thing that matters and the difference that they're that, and the difference that they're able to make on their instruments. So thank you all so much. Here's to 2019, 2020. Congratulations to all of our winners. And that's a year. See you guys in the fall.